What's up, guys? Damon Zell back again with another Eve Echoes video. That's right. Today, we have a very special Ask Me Anything. That's right. The devs held an AMA for a few different people. Uh, we're going to get into all the questions. We're going to talk about it, my opinions of them. Don't worry about the date right here, May 28th, because it did happen today, uh, June 4th, uh, right around 3 o'clock in the morning-ish. Um course i was not part of it don't worry about it. uh special shout out to those participants who did ask the questions that the community wanted to hear but before we get into it like always uh go ahead and tag the subscribe button ring that bell share and like the video and this way you stay up to date with everything we do here on the channel so let's get right into the questions and special thanks out to uh mario for putting them up on his discord now uh, if you want to see another video format, Taylor, Rick, and Rambo has it up on their Discord as well on their YouTube channel uh, in video format. So they recorded it as it happened. This AMA took about 30 minutes. They only um, asked uh, uh, a few different questions uh, from each creator. We have Taylor, Rick, we have Mario, we have Mora, and we have Juby uh, all asking questions here. So let's dive right into the heart of the questions here. Mario started off with... Uh, could you give us a sneak peek on the anniversary update? What coming? Uh, what's coming up? The feature at ah, what upcoming feature are you most proud of? Sorry, I cannot read tonight. Um, and uh, we all know the anniversary is right around the corner. Uh, it's next month, so this will be the fourth anniversary. So. We should be getting some good things. Now, the answer that they gave us is that we might be getting some new PvE content, uh, new materials, and using the materials in ISK to upgrade ship defenses. So, we're wondering what that's going to be like. Is this mean it's going to be new modules that we're going to use to build up? Is it going to be a new uh, key system that you can upgrade, such as like the nanocore system? Maybe there's something new that's going to be inherent in all the ships? Who knows? We're going to have to wait for the anniversary to see that. The second question is one that's on a lot of people's lips that Mario went ahead and asked. Titans is a hot topic. Will they be released this year? If so, when can we expect them? Now, we were all expecting them last year to drop with the anniversary. So we're kind of hoping that if they are going to drop this year, maybe they will drop with this anniversary package. Uh, but the answer was it is to be determined. If it is released, Fortizer and Keepstars will definitely be released first. So since we have not seen that stuff first, we're probably going to see that on the anniversary. We're probably going to get the Fortizer, um, which is going to be that new outpost that you can drop in um, the new region, I believe. Or uh, no, it's a... Uh, I forget exactly what it is, to tell you the truth. Uh, I, know, I know it's like an outpost, but bigger. Um, I, I know you're able to drop them. It's not an outpost. It's kind of like a, a Citadel or something. All I know is that you were able to drop them, I believe, in low sec areas as well as uh, other areas. So, um, again, my brain's fried today. It's it was been too hot. Third question. So Titans are not coming, are not going to be released this year. So we got a sec, uh, second question on Titans. And the answer was, we are about to release a comprehensive update of the underlining code of the APP, which will improve performance, but and you always know this, may also contain bugs. Planning The planning of large-scale content is influenced by many factors. So, they want to drop the new content coming out. They want to drop the Four Desires. They want to drop the Keep Stars. They want to drop all this other thing that they're working on, as well as changing the code of the game that they say will improve performance. Maybe not so many black screens during the uh, some big battles. Who knows? But we all know whenever they, they dabble in this, it's going to bring some new and crazy bugs uh, to the game. So, I remember when they were changing some code in EVE Online, and they got rid of local. That's right. Lo they had no local for, I think, it was about a year. Um, so, we're going to see what, what we see out of this. So, those were the three questions that Mario asked. Let's move on to Taylor Rick's questions. And Taylor did ask the uh, community of the Eve uh, Echoes podcast, the um, uh, Echoes of New Eden. And these were some actually really good questions that were asked. Uh, are there plans for ammunition this year? And if so, are true bombs included? Now, everyone, every bomber pilot, since bombers came out, 
have been asking for bombs. We all want to run those big bomb scenarios like Bomber's Bar from EVE Online, where you just get a whole bunch of uh, bomber flights come in and decimate a capital fleet. We really want that in the game. It's fun, especially with jump gates and everything else. It, it's so the answer to this was bomb launchers and bomb ammunitions might be released within two months. So maybe for the anniversary, we might see actual bombs coming to the game. Uh, ammunition for other weapons is still in the developer's plans. Now, if you are not familiar with this game or have not been with this game since the beginning, in the beta, they were saying that they wanted to bring ammo into the game. And there was different ways that they were going to go about doing this, especially since it's been so long where the weapons in the game currently uh, don't need ammo. So how would they do this? Well, like I said, it's been on their radar since the game launched four years ago. So I'm not really expecting it uh, to come out. They, they have, they, they promise things, right? and they take a very, very, very long time to do it. We are still waiting on station containers. We are still waiting on uh, ship naming, things like that. So do not expect ammunition to come, your regular ammunition. That's like lenses for your lasers, um, you know, rounds for your hybrid weapons, actual missiles for your missile launchers, stuff like that. Don't, don't worry about that. If it's gonna come, it'll come down the road. Um, I don't think it's in the near future, but I'm very excited to hopefully get actual bombs coming in the next few months. We are going to have to, you know, keep track of that, kind of keep an eye on that. And like I said, I think a lot of this stuff is going to be mentioned around the anniversary time. The second question Taylor Rick asked was, are there any plans for repackaging or pulling compilers out of implants? Maybe the same way you just introduced for nanocores. Now this is fantastic. It's something that the community has actually really been asking for for a lot uh, because it does take so much to power up an implant uh, to get it to those, lev uh, those levels, especially if you're trying to get it to level 45. You can basically go broke doing so. So it would be a great way to be able to strip old implants that you're not using anymore to pump into a new implant for the new doctrine that you're running or uh, maybe something you're focusing on more so than you did when implants first came out. Now the answer to that was maybe in the same way like nanocores, free around 70% of your materials gained back. But if you pay AUR, maybe you get 90% of your materials back. They say this could also be implemented in ISK. Percentages might still change. Now, the way they word this, right? The way they word this, free and AUR and maybe ISK and percentages, makes me think that this is probably going to happen. That they are going to bring this in. None of this maybe stuff. I think this is on the docket. I think this is going to be happening probably in the next couple months as well, part of their new big package that they're going to be bringing out. Now, um, Murrah, go ahead and ask a few questions here as well. Uh, two questions. First question was, are there any plans to add non-clone bound skill extractors and injectors uh, to the game uh, to help new players catch up with older players? Now, this has been an age-old thing, right? Uh, get rid of the tier system. Uh, it takes too long for a new player to get the skills to fly those ships that are in your doctrine or, or to do the, the bigger ships. Um, so, with that being said, Let's see what the answer was. They said, there is no plan. New players earn ISK at a slower rate and skill extractors and injectors are obviously not affordable for new players. We will change the rewards for encounters and novice tests to add more skill points and ships. So they're trying to find a way to inject more skill points for your starter missions, for maybe your news missions, stuff like that, that when you're just starting off in the game. However, and I hate to say it this way, and... I don't like being negative, but if they can make a dollar off it, they will. If they can package, hey, we got these new skill injectors, get uh, three you know, million or uh, get five million skill points for you know, uh, 399 AUR, it, they're going to do it. You know what I mean? If, if they can make money off it, I'm pretty sure they will implement it. Uh, okay. Uh, question seven, EE is getting costlier to play with each update with steady rising barriers for entry for new players. Uh, what are the plans to attract new players and retain players who are on a smaller budget? That's a very good question, right? Because we all know it's a pay to play game, right? Um, if you want to not be uh, an alpha clone, you, you have to pay that uh, 
that $15 a month or $12 a month, depending on which clone you want to go, right? Omega, whatever. I think that um, one of the first things they need to do is, listen to me, devs, advertise your game. I've only been saying it for four years. Stop only advertising it when the anniversary pops around. Run advertisements for your game all year round, different platforms, different styles. You don't have to you know, make a gigantic commercial and get actors and everything. You don't need to do all of this for this game. Just how you can farm it out to the community. The community would love to put together some great commercials for you to use, to put out on your social media, to put out on YouTube, to do all this stuff. We will do it for you. Um, make, run contests for it. You know, there's ways of doing this with, with that out, um, without it hurting your bottom line. Um, but advertise the game. And do not falsely advertise the game like you did when Implants first came out. Like when you did when they first, when the game first came out. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm going to suck up all these rocks. And now look, I'm transforming into another ship. Run advertisements for the game how the game is actually played. Um, but yeah, their answer to that is the top two are Plex and Omega and Battleship Driving. We will gradually remove the tech level requirements for non-capital ships. So I guess that's good. If you're looking to get into a capital ship sooner, um, they're going to start re reducing those tech level requirements for you new players. I don't see it happening anytime in the near future, though. Um, again, they're going to squeeze every dime they can first before moving out. So let's move on to the last two questions uh, asked by Jubileus. Uh, Juby asks, are we going to have cross-platform play available? No. <laughs> I can tell you right now, this is no. It's, the answer is going to be no. Um, my personal philosophy is I, I, I don't see this working. I mean, I could definitely see a PC port. You know, there's a lot of mobile games right now that are either available with a PC client. Uh, hell, I, you see me, guys. You guys see me play um, Soul Leveling Rise. And that's through a PC client through their own launcher. NetEase can put out their own launcher and, and do it PC ways. Or they can just put it out on Steam, right? There's so many mobile games that you can just play through the Steam platform. Anyway, um, let's get back to the question. I, I know I go off on a rant here. Um, PS4, the PS5, Nintendo Switch, PC. Those types of device, uh, devices, for example, at some point. I've heard that it could be a fun... Uh, it could be fun if people uh, can play each other uh, with any gaming platform. Uh, again, like I said here... They say, there are no plans anytime soon. It's hard to say in the future. It's not hard, guys. Look at all the other mobile games that you can do through Steam. Here, I'll pull up Steam right now, and I'll pull up a bunch of things. Give me a second here. Okay, so I got my Steam store going up, right? All right let's let's just do, let's go, Marvel, right? I want to title this on, uh, nope, well, it helps if I spell it right. Marvel Rivals. That's a new game that's coming. Oh, actually, that's, no, that's spelled for PC, sorry. Uh, Marvel Snap, which is a mobile game. Which is on here. Let's see. Uh, Strike Force on here? I don't think it is. No, it's not on here. Um, but Marvel Snap is on here. There's other games that are out here on uh, mobile that you can do as well. Look, right here. Ra Raid Shadow Legends. I, I know it's, it's a meme, but that's on here. Like, there's ways to just porting it out to Steam, and it, this could be a way for. for uh, the game to actually bring in more players, right? Because not a lot of people want to play on their phone in uh, 2024, you know? Um, I, myself, I, I find it harder to play on my phone. I, I, I still play it through the emulator, right? Um, but put if you don't want people using Blue Stacks and stuff like that, put out your own emulator, like Netmarble, like a bunch of other companies do. Or, like I said, farm it out to Steam, and they can do it for you. All right, so let's let's continue on with the last question here. Last question is: I would love to have something similar to EO advertisement videos. Yes, Juby, I know. I've been saying this for years. The scope, for example, that would showcase the new features and content, maybe with a cool trailer for every new update. Fantastic idea. We've been saying this for years. Hell. Use the in-game advertisement, the billboards in the game, allow corporations to pay, like AUR, to advertise on those things. Uh, have your your um, content creators throw advertisements on there. There was talk um, that uh, 
Benzi when he was around that they were actually going to do tutorials in game that would link back to his videos. You know, there's ways to innovate the game without hurting your bottom line without doing this and to get more eyes on your product. The more eyes you get on your product, the more money you're going to bring in, which therefore allows you to build a better game. All right. Uh, let's go for example that would showcase. All right. Um, the answer to that is this is handled by someone in another department. I'm not sure. Dev and publicity are two departments with different plans. Yes, we've seen this because we know how the past advertisements for the game don't reflect the game whatsoever. I don't know. Um, I think companies, or at least departments within companies, should talk to each other. Um, I think that's the more efficient way to run a gaming company. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't expect them to, to move on any of this. Um, but those are the questions that were asked. Those are the answers that we were given. So some good things to look out in the near future. I'm excited to see the Fortizar, the Keepstar coming. I'm excited to see what PVE content they're going to be bringing, what new systems are coming to the game. I'm hoping for the bombs. I I'm loving the idea that we can do a bomber squad uh, sometime in the near future. I hope this is accurate. I hope this is actually comes to light and not a just promise for something that's going to come three years from now. But, uh, hey, we're all still waiting for an API, right? <laughs> anyway, those are your Q&A questions. Uh, thank you to, uh, uh, the, um, ex <laughs> thank you for Juby. Thank you, Mora. Thank you, Moby. Thank you, Taylor Rick, for, uh, asking your communities to submit these questions. Uh, especially these are the questions that we actually wanted, not some of those really stupid questions we see on the ones that they just generate and put out. So thank you guys for doing the work on this. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back this week with another news video. Until then, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Fly safe. And remember, we're always one vision, one purpose, one front.